What's going on? You guys know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, uh, back in full effect. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Hey, man. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So we got the Finn Balor show Damian Priest the new Judgment Day, question mark, in Baltimore. I didn't go. Why not? Because I already spent my money on WrestleMania. But let's get it. Oh, no, you know what time it is. Get down here and take this beating like a man. Real shit. No bullshit. I like that. Okay. Come get your ass up like a man. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. You think you're a man with judgment day in your hands? <laughs> How you go from being the prince to a bitch to a backstabbing scumbag to a coward? You should have said bitch, but I ain't even gonna lie. You should have said a backstabbing because coward bitch. You know where I'm from. I just realized this nigga's dressed as Vin Diesel for Fast and the Furry. <laughs> Am I geeking, bro? He giving me Vin Diesel vibes with the necklace and the little you crop. He giving me Vin Diesel vibes for real. You know, most of my life, I've been on my own. That was until I found the Judgment Day. His family? <laughs> they gave me a reason to fight. They made me feel like <laughs> I belong to them. Damn, you priest Vin Diesel on the WWE. But then last Friday, at the premiere of my documentary, I didn't I see his premiere. I didn't see say, it. What I meant to them. And I see you all tonight. I hear you. I see you. And I realize I gotta watch that. that my family got a whole lot bigger. So Finn Balor, let me introduce you to my new family. What it is, DP? I'll be rocking with you now. I wasn't fucking with you like three months ago. I ain't even gonna lie, but yeah, you cool. You grew on me. Think I'm upset just because I lost the world title. Nah, man, I can win that back. You heard me. I'm pissed off. Nah, ain't about nothing. You, title from all of us. you heard me. You dead, bro. You like, bro, you could have whooped my ass after the match. You feel me? Like, like I disappointed my family. Yeah. You could have definitely whooped my ass after the match if you were really feeling Somebody that type of way. Like or me? before the match. You know I can't let that stand. But you gonna help my man's win? Like, what? You wanna help the op win? Me I mean, closely. you fucking hate me. You don't even wanna see me win. When you are suffering, it's a jealous ass nigga. I am the reason for your pain. So get your ass out here and let the beatings begin. Damien. Big man. And it's crazy though, bro, because I knew they was going to like eventually when fight you know, Finn and Dame. It was like, you know, this been building up for years, months now. But I always thought Finn was gonna be the baby face and Dame was gonna be the heel. But I like how they switched it. It's, it's pretty interesting. You know how it was supposed to be. We all have each other's backs. No leaders. Bro, I knew he was gonna say that shit. You and Rhea Ripley became our leaders. We was not supposed to have leaders. I knew he was gonna say that shit, bro. Bro, I knew he was gonna say that shit. Cause I was thinking why he did this shit, bro, and then it clicked. Like, yeah, he was jealous. But he won't make it seem like, oh yeah, you're not supposed to handle leaders. I almost became champion. If it wasn't for you. And this happened. What was it you said to me in the car after the show to console me? You said, Finn, it's time to man up. Well, I waited. And I waited. And I waited a full year. And I manned up. That's not manning up, that's bitching up. You just said you waited a whole year. For him to win just so you can knock him down. Like, nigga, what? That's not a man, bro. Like, a man would have whooped his ass right there and addressed it right there. Hey, bro, I'm not really fucking with you and what you did in my match. Don't fucking talk to me. But you laughing and geeking one tag team titles with Joe and you now, now, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, right, man, the fuck up. Like, no, you, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> like, no, you did not. Sorry. <laughs> I screwed you and I screwed your family. You see, you're from the streets. You could have did it at WrestleMania. From the streets. I'm not gonna fight you. No. Like, bro, you, you had so many opportunities. You just, Someone yeah. Who's earned it. Someone who deserves it. You see my man went that tight and started upgrading. He's like, hold up. <laughs> this nigga's starting to fly up. I'll bring him back down. That's all it is. You see my man on the rise. I'm gonna wait till you feel safe. I'm gonna wait till you feel comfortable. I'm gonna wait till you've almost forgotten about me. I know when your back is turned, I'll be there to stab you in it again and again and again. I want some bakey shit. 
Nigga, you ready to cry? We all do. I want to bait you shit. All y'all niggas trifling. Especially that little dirty thought pocket over there in the uh, right corner. Dirty ass couple. Dirty ass couple. Ah, uh, dirty ass couple. That your dirty ass couple. Dirty ass couple. <laughs> That shit crazy, bro. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Fuck them niggas, bro. But yeah, man. That's gonna do it for the video. Let me see your comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.